We know cases and kids are also going up, especially in that age group under the age of five that can't get a vaccine. And this hits just as the schools are returning to class after winter break. CBS 4's Dylan Thomas live tonight in Larimer County, where the case counts, Dylan, like everywhere else, are rising. Yeah, just here in Larimer County, they've seen cases nearly double just in the past week alone. Concerning enough to where the local school district, even the university up in Fort Collins, is calling for people to take further action to protect themselves. The Omicron variant of COVID-19 is surging. To end 2021, around 10% of those getting tested in Larimer County were positive just one week later. And now we're looking at positivity rates um, 20% and higher. Something the county hasn't seen since the start of the pandemic. Once we've had testing available, we haven't seen positivity rates this high. Jared Olson of the county's health department says there are steps we can take to prevent the spread. Proving the masks that we wear. Um, so a step up from cloth to surgical, um, even further a step from surgical to uh, a high filtration mask like an N95. Which is why the region's largest district, Poudre schools is asking parents to send their kids to school with KN95 or N95 masks to start the semester. Nearby, Colorado State University announced it will require all students and staff on campus to be vaccinated if not approved for an exemption. We want to ensure that those people working and living on campus um, are as protected as possible. All students will have to provide proof of a booster within 30 days of eligibility and will have to submit themselves to saliva testing on campus. The added benefit of having a booster was deemed to be important shown to help uh, mitigate and, and decrease the likelihood of severe disease. When you look at the data from other areas that got Omicron before here in Colorado, they saw the surge go up to potentially 40% positivity rate. But a lot of that comes down to lack of testing. Here in Colorado, we have relatively good access to testing, so they hope that it'll stop between that 20 to 30% positivity rate. As for Poudre School Districts here in Northern Colorado, they say that they'll be providing their staff with those KN95 masks. Reporting live in Larimer County, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First.